Uh, one of the byproducts of having a long injury list, and it's something that Rodney Eden knows all too well, having spent the season with Collingwood, is that you get to get games into young players. And Collingwood have done it so well. Seven debutants this year. And probably most of these players, if they had a full list, wouldn't have been able to taste senior footy. And what it means is, when they are needed now, they've got a little bit of experience under their belt. A few of them are still playing in the VFL at this particular point in time, some of them in the AFL side. But this is, whilst we talk about how bad it is to have a long list of injuries, Rocket, there is uh, a silver lining on that dark cloud, isn't there? There certainly is an upside to it. There's no yeah. doubt you get, you, know, you get exposure to your youngsters. And sometimes we may be loath to play youngsters yep. uh, as, yeah. a, as an industry. We go, oh, I don't know if he's up to it. But it's, it's marvellous the ones who can actually grab that opportunity. And certainly from our point of view, we've been extremely pleased with the players that have played. And the ones who don't play finals this year or get, say, four or five games total, it's going to set them up fantastically for next season. And I think one of the real reasons why um, those young players have been integrated into the side so successfully is because the structures at Collingwood are so, are so well drilled. Yep. It looks like so many people have bought into the uh, structure. So young guy can come in, and there's no greater example than probably Nick Maxwell or Harry O'Brien across half-back, how they know their roles. Got some examples here of Freo coming off half-back and kicking long to centre-half forward, and we know that uh, Nick Maxwell dropped off his man there to make that spoil. Now, they turn this around getting get an inside 50, but here's the behind-the-goals vision. Fremantle off half back will drive the ball to centre half forward. And we'll see he's set up left of screen. There's Nick Maxwell on his man. So centre wing. Not a really dangerous position at this stage, but he's got his man covered. Ball goes short. Now Harry O'Brien has to drop off his man at centre half forward to come to the ball. He falls short and doesn't impact the contest, so his man's free at centre half forward. Nick Maxwell then understands the structures and what he has to do. So he goes to cover Harry O'Brien. Leaves his man knowing which is the dangerous Freeman or Docker man. So turns the inside 50 for Freo around, gets the inside 50 for Collingwood. But that's how well Collingwood obviously uh, are structured. And we know because of those players coming through, everyone knows their role and, yeah. and, and what's expected yeah. when you play. I think, I think what Nick did there, you'll see a lot of the top sides do that. I mean, yeah. you'll see West Coast do that. They cover for each other extremely well. Hawthorne's the same. I mean, yeah. the good sides be able to do that and they are obviously work in sync. And I think St Kilda, when they're playing at their best the last few seasons, you'd see Gilbert and Fisher and these yeah. players actually do the same thing. I think the thing that helps us as well, obviously everyone knows their role, but I think having the seconds team, I think that's yeah. a real, it's a real yeah. plus. So Tark and Lockyer co coaches that. We've got the same structure, so the guys know the roles pretty well. I think it also helps when you're playing well, because when teams yeah. aren't playing well, players start to get a little bit insular. You start Absolutely. worrying about, what's my job? I've got to do my job. You're less inclined to take risks for a teammate yeah. than you are when the team's playing really well. And I, and I, and I, that's a bonus. And I reckon games together as, as a six. I know you've used seven, eight players through that defensive end, but once you start, you start playing together, you learn the, the yeah. movements and mannerisms of each player. They've played a lot of football together now, these, this back yeah, they six. Have. I, I think the thing that, mo uh, not the most, but a lot of our injuries have been to our defenders. Yeah. So the, the ones that have come in have, have held up pretty well. Lockie Keefe, unfortunately, is injured and um, obviously held up pretty well. But Marley Williams is, is playing at the moment. Yeah as well and uh, so there's some young, young players that have played through there which is good for the future. Do they have a weakness the Pies, Rocket? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah well, we can, uh, we've got a bit of improvement left, Jason. Oh, oh, geez, that's got not, a bit to work on. Don't want to hear that, that's for sure. But with that well-structured well defence and the press, we obviously on the weekend Collingwood dominated the inside 50 uh, time in possession in, in the forward 50. Now here's 24 and a half minutes extra Inside 50, the ball spent for Collingwood. Inside 50s, a plus 36, which is a massive dominance. But once again, a true reflection of once the ball goes in, they keep the ball in there. But once the ball comes out, they're so well drilled and structured to have that intercept spoil or intercept mark to get the ball back in there. Repeat inside 50s are massive for Collingwood at the moment. Yeah, yeah, that was pleasing. I think Jason mentioned it about Jamie Elliott had 10, yeah. uh, certainly had 10 tackles inside 50. I think the area we can improve, Jason, is our maybe accuracy in front of goal. Obviously well, if Collingwood do start to improve, the rest of the competition is in serious, serious <laughs> trouble. When